Officers not involved in the shooting described the scene as chaotic when they arrived in the minutes after. One of those was a member of the LMPD SWAT team who had been serving a warrant across town but switched gears after learning about the injured officer. Through his body camera, we see what he saw. They had an officer shot on Springfield and they needed, they're requesting armor down there. Loading up into an armored vehicle, Sergeant Brandon Hogan and his team head to Springfield Ave, where police have just shot and killed Brianna Taylor. I go. Hogan and others were serving a warrant across town on Elliott Avenue, one of the other locations listed as part of the narcotics raid. As they arrive on scene, the team picks up on the chaos. What, the? what just happened? What's going on? Noticing officers pointing their weapons across the path SWAT plans to take. If you're not on SWAT, lift your fire, we're going up. The team makes their way to Taylor's front door, where they're the first of any first responders to go inside. Oh, watch out. Watch that. Hogan describes those moments one week later, talking to investigators. You can immediately see her. Um, she's in the very back, down, looks like she's 1080. Right off the bat, it looks like she's 1080. Walking through the apartment, the team clears every room. In Taylor's bedroom, the TV is still playing. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Kenneth Walker told police he and Taylor were watching a movie in bed when police came to the door. They're in the apartment for about seven minutes before calling it a crime scene. Hogan dismisses some of his team, hoping to preserve evidence. I don't want him to, you know, get in there and... That's just big guy stuff, like you didn't and this up crime scene, start kicking shell casings around. I didn't want that to happen. Despite his efforts, it does happen, but not by one of his guys. It was former LMPD detective Brett Hankinson. So I think Jason here does Hankinson walks up to the door of the apartment and then walks inside. Hogan suggests he leave. Well, I'd, I'd back out until they get PIU in here. Hogan later tells investigators that moment stood out and his experience, an officer involved in a shooting, wouldn't wander a crime scene afterwards. After Hankison leaves, the SWAT team follows, turning over the scene to forensic experts who would go on to process the evidence for the next 12 hours.